the whole thing wobbing. We've got the Easter promo coming out this Thursday. We also have Redux is dropping with that promo as well. So we need to talk about the Easter promo coming up, what you guys can do to potentially prepare for that, and what we can expect to see. I do want to give a shout out to Funny But Funny for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to check out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. To notification bell on, comment down below, Noti Gang. Also, if you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, you can sign up right now using code ZERK to double your first deposit up to $100. New users will also get this Luca 0.5 point special We've also been running a ton of specials almost every single day so if you guys are naughty on the app you're missing out all right so we definitely have a lot to talk about here with the sugar rush promo releasing as well as redux is coming with sugar rush because that is also a very very key part of what you guys may potentially want to do here but Starting off, uh, we do have Sugar Rush coming out this Thursday. We also expect Reduxes to be on Thursday with it. There's no dates, so we don't officially know. Uh, but you guys can see we do have an EA stream Wednesday, tomorrow morning at 10.30. And then we have an EA stream Thursday morning at 10.30. Now, I will let you guys know, with that piece of information right there, it just feels off to me. Because usually a promo like Zero Chill, Halloween, Easter, right? These are really big promos. They tend to get a special stream like the night before promos drop. Normally, we get like a 7 p.m. stream to cover the Sugar Rush promo, but that's not the case this year. They're doing it just the morning of Thursday, and then it's going to be dropping Thursday afternoon. It's a little bit weird to me, to be honest with you, because normally we get those special streams the night before because it might be kind of a big promo. They got to go over a lot of stuff. Is Sugar Rush at least release one potentially going to be maybe not as much as we've seen in years past i don't know it just seems off to me but we'll see thursday morning i guess but let's take a look here at sugar rush part one that we got last year and then i'll kind of go over my personal plan for the easter promo how i'm going into it all of that uh starting off though you guys can see sugar rush part one we got some limiteds right we got Devonte adams ltd and we got marshawn Lattimore. 98 overall limiteds they were very very good uh, aside from that we also have champions right here 98 overall marshawn lynch was a champion 98 ty law stefan diggs tj watt matt stafford we got adrian amos uh christian kirksey and chris Lindstrom some pretty decent uh release one you know champions that we had we also had a bunch of 96 overall heroes some 93 overall leads and some 90 overall leads now this is where things get a little bit interesting because I will tell you guys if you did not play Madden 23 but you played maybe Madden 22 21 whatever you know this when it comes to the beginning of the Easter promo and in general with the Easter promo what's the number one thing that people care about it's getting the eggs, right? The eggs are the biggest thing with the Easter promo. Last year was the worst year ever to get eggs to start. Anyways, to start it was the worst and ended up becoming the best, and I'll explain why. But as you guys can see, the sets here, you did need 496 overall Sugar Rush players to get the 98 overall champions in a fantasy pack contain your choice of 496 back as BND. Obviously, sets this year a lot different. It'll probably just be uh four, you know, whatever overalls in there or five potentially to get the champions now, as of right now we do have 97 overall champions and we have 98 overall limited which you guys can exchange any 94 to 95 overalls currently in sets to get 97 overall players but here's the thing you know how i just mentioned that we're going to be getting reduxes as well it appears on thursday well normally when we get reduxes that could also be a sign of overalls potentially getting bumped up so don't be surprised guys if on thursday we end up getting an overall bump and now champions are going to go up to 98 and limiteds are going to go up to 99 overall again that is not confirmed yet but with us getting reduxes it has me thinking that we are in store here for an overall escalation which there is a lot uh that is going to come with that we should be seeing 97 overall reduxes though uh but last year in terms of how do you get those eggs we had small egg sets you know 280 to 89s 286 87s medium egg sets large egg sets as well 
it was terrible. It was absolutely atrocious. There were no egg rerolls. There were no, you know, training packs to get eggs. It was absolutely atrocious. And then we also had the Sugar Rush Field Pass. You can see we get a 96 overall player or a large egg. We get a bunch of small eggs, medium eggs, season XP, uh, coins as well. And then we did also have some solo challenges that had some hidden eggs in them. Uh, you can see you got Sugar Rush XP. We had a house rules event to go ahead and get, you know, small eggs, medium eggs, small eggs, medium eggs right there. And then finally we had the store. We you could get 90 plus overall sugar rush players we had some sugar rush packs and as you can see it was just really really hard to actually get eggs now they did eventually drop a bundle in the store that was like a bunch of eggs as well and with sugar rush part two we actually ended up getting this right here now i will let you guys know uh if we only had like a random extravagant egg reroll uh way to actually get these for a couple of days before easter actually dropped but here's the thing I mentioned to you guys that this was the hardest year ever to get eggs, right? It was the hardest year ever until this reroll dropped right here, which you guys are looking at. You're like, wow, 170,000 training. That's insane. Well, when they first dropped it, it was glitched and it was only 17,000 training and that went for a little bit. We made so many coins as a community. Uh, we made a ridiculous amount of coins and it very quickly went from potentially looking like one of the worst Easter drops of all time to everybody making a ridiculous amount of coins due to this being glitched here. So I'm very curious to see what EA is going to do this year. Will we get egg rerolls just right off the bat? Will they make us wait to get them? How are they going to go about it? I do not know. Now, that was just Sugar Rush Part 1, though. As you guys can see, we definitely had more cards. We had JC Horn, Brandon Marshall, Von Miller as well. But these players right here, yeah, these were not just normal cards. These were actually uh, cards that we got from the eggs. Now, as I mentioned, the eggs, that's kind of like the biggest thing with the Sugar Rush promo is we're all chasing after those. Some of them will have players like this, like a new player like Von Miller. Some of them will have maybe like a Redux pack, right? It'll be a Redux pack, like a random Redux. Uh, we never truly know if eggs will be good or if they will be bad value. It's kind of just a straight guess. Other players we had, we had Darren Waller right here. Uh, we had James Conner, Amari Cooper. These guys were just Sugar Rush champions, though. Uh, they were not a part of the eggs. Limited, we had Rashawn Evans. We got Justin Fields. Roger McCreary, we had Morgan Moses, Emmanuel Ogba, Kayvon Thibodeau, uh, Antoine Winfield as well. Uh, we had Robert Woods, a whole lot of players. All right, so that's the Sugar Rush promo. I also wanted to talk about that glitch that happened last year because that was really big. I think a lot of people, uh, due to that glitch, there they kind of have a better opinion about the promo than they probably would have had if we didn't get that glitch because overall it would not have been uh anywhere as good as it actually ended up being because we all just made a ton of coins but with that being said let me talk about now what i personally am doing to prepare for the sugar rush promo i know a lot of people always ask should i sell my team should i do this should i do that well i'll let you guys know right now should you sell your team that is up to you. I'm not going to tell you you're guaranteed to make coins if you sell their team because there's going to be a huge market crash. Well, let me tell you something. There is a bit of an issue currently going on in Madden 24 that I think is going to really affect us with the Easter promo. Now, I don't know if EA is going to change this or not, but as you guys can see right now, we currently have the Madden 24 uh, price dashboard up here on uh, Mud.gg. You guys see training price currently is 1.07 and is going down a little bit. You can see that a lot of people right now, I think, are starting to sell off their team. This is right here uh, when EA actually dropped the content schedule and Sugar Rush was on there. You can see it's kind of gone down from there, right? Which means people are kind of selling off in preparation of the sugar rush promo now i will let you guys know personally i did sell off my team although i did sell off my team i am not saying that you guys should sell your team this is personally what i did you decide what you want to do personal responsibility okay i am not a 100 percent from the future genie to be able to tell you guys what's going to happen here to the uh, auction house oh easter is going to be amazing the eggs are going to be amazing the cards are going to be amazing i don't have a clue and neither do you. But what I will tell you is a main reason why I, in particular, did actually go in and sell my team is because, simply put, uh, don't worry, I'm going to be making videos the entire week, but 
I am actually going to be gone this week to where I can't play head to head. I can't play head to head until I get back this uh, weekend, but uh, I will be doing videos. Don't worry about that. I've got you covered on everything, bringing my setup with me, heading out to North Carolina with Underdog Fantasy. Shout out to them. But that's why I sold my team. Number one, could we see the market kind of take a dip here? And also, in particular, the players that I had on my team. Now, number one, I had a lot of combine players on my team. I had quite a bit of a build of a combine theme team. And for me personally, I feel like the Combine theme team, that could be one promo that really takes a hit here, right? Why is that? Easter promo. Will it have a theme team? We don't know. But if it does have a theme team where the players are able to get like plus two speed, we're going to be talking about a lot of 99 speed players, especially if we do see that overall bump where those players are going to be going up to 98 overall champions and 99 overall limiteds. That is definitely going to be the number one theme team in the game if the players are good, if there is in fact an overall bump, and uh, if they get a theme team cam. But personally, I sold off because all of that, right? A combination of pretty much everything, me not being able to play head-to-head -head pretty much this entire week. Uh, and on top of that, I had a lot of combine theme team, and I just personally feel like if the Easter promo is crazy and it has a theme team, combine theme team is going to go down. But again, my personal opinion, not a fact. Now, here is an issue, though, that I think we may run into. Now, number one, yes, I'm selling off because everything I just said there, but also, when do I plan to potentially buy back my team? That could be next week. Uh, we'll go ahead, you know, maybe pick up some Easter players, whatever, or I could potentially wait until Easter. I have to see the Easter promo. I have to see how we're able to get eggs, how many of them we're able to get, and I'll kind of make my decision then, but... Here's an issue. As you guys saw, training was already down to almost one coin flat, right? So how much more of a market crash could we see? Well, we could potentially see some overalls really come down, and especially so if you guys have any 97 overall LTDs, I would sell, to be honest with you. I would probably sell with Redux is coming. You're going to see uh, quite a bit of a hit potentially there. Also, you're probably going to get like a Redux special offer potentially. We're going to have Redux packs for sure, you would expect, with eggs there. So you're going to see those Reduxes pulled on Easter Day. Uh, in general, if you have any LTDs, I would say, from whatever overall up to 97, probably a good idea to dump those. But the issue is, as you guys can see right here, we have Isaiah McDuffie, who quick sells for 270 training. Well, this is something that I noticed, and I made a video on for you guys a little bit ago as well. Uh, you'll notice, I can't put this Isaiah McDuffie up for less than 270 coins. EA actually put a lock that basically will not allow training to go lower than one coin per. That could be a big thing because this is actually around the time of the year where we potentially see training points fall under one coin per, especially when the market's getting flooded during the Easter promo, all the eggs are opening up, the market's getting flooded. This is kind of going to put a floor on how much potentially the market crash. Now, with that being said, though, if you take a look at the left side of the screen right here, the cheapest training by overall, you can kind of see that there is still room, though, for players to come down in price, like 97 overalls. Uh, right now, they are currently going for 375k, the cheapest, but they do have 260,000 training points as their training value. So, you know, there is still 100,000 coins right there that they could potentially fall. One thing I do want to mention as well is if they drop an egg reroll pack, we could potentially see training points go up in price why because that's going to be in high demand people are going to want to go ahead and they're going to want to get some easter eggs as well so as you guys may have noticed by now i have almost two million training points worth of training right now i will let you know though not only waiting to see if ea announces on thursday morning hey we have egg re-rolls but yes i am making that investment there in preparation for a potential market kind of spike because as you guys saw, it's currently at 1.07 coins per training point, right? It can't go lower than one. So the risk that I'm putting out here, at least at this very moment with EA with the market cap here, I'm not really risking much, right? And the worst case scenario what I'm going to do is just dump them into mystery packs. Thursday morning, if EA does not announce any sort of egg reroll, I'm going to be doing a bunch of mystery packs. And in general, that's also something that I am going to be doing with these training points is putting them into mystery packs. Why? Because of the overall escalation. This is something that I've done for the last couple of months. Now, I will let you guys know when overalls went up from, you know, 96, 97, and we have these 98 overall limiteds right now. Uh, I did this mystery pack and I lost like 300,000 coins. This is not a guaranteed way to make coins, 
but it worked the two times before that and i'm likely gonna do it again but with the easter promo coming i definitely recommend you guys jump off of those limiteds that you have especially with the redux is coming if you have any 97 overall limiteds i most certainly will be jumping off of those if you want to sell your team that's up to you uh potentially investing in training points i don't think is a bad idea at all especially with how cheap training is right now it's not like training can really get much cheaper unless ea removes that block there but the potential for training points to go from 1.07 to, you know, mid one, whatever, it could be there, depending on what the training reroll is and how EA actually goes about the Easter promo. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, with that sub button down below, check out our fantasy, use code Zerk, follow me over on Twitter for my picks, and let me know what you guys will be doing for the Easter promo. I just basically told you my entire game plan. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.